Good morning and welcome back. We're going to start off today with a couple of vacuums, both with cords. It is a beautiful day out today. I'm hoping it's as good as the last couple of days, man. It's been a lot of fun. Ah, I forgot to take that sewing machine out of here. I want to see if anybody wants that antique. I found that late in the day yesterday. This is an antique singer and it's just too pretty to throw away. This is that stroller that I was talking about. I tried to turn it in as dirty aluminum yesterday. And that's when I found out it was mostly steel. That's what happens when you only check part of the stroller. There's only one strip on it that's aluminum. And I took it home and then I realized it was gonna be a lot of work to get that one little piece of aluminum out. So it's all going to shred. So anyhow, I want to uh, thank all the new subscribers. We are gaining hard and fast, and I love it. I honestly think the trailers made a difference. I mean, it certainly made a difference with the connections with people on the street, because in the two days of the trailer, I've had people flagging me down and saying, can you do this, can you do that? Um, you know, can you trade me this? And it's amazing, and I love that. So I wanna thank all the new people that have come in and decided to spend a little time of their day with me it is greatly appreciated and of course all of those of you have been here all along and especially those of you that comment i love that as well so uh let's keep plugging along find out with the day youngs and those are plastic they done tricked me i was like ah oh, there's some metal down there they are plastic but let's hope we can fill her up again i have today's a short day because the kids get done early on wednesdays plus i have to meet somebody because I sold that standing paddleboard. So remember when you're out there, it's not always metal. Some of the other goodies could be really good too. I know you guys hate it when I have to walk, but I had to split the difference. I saw two spots, a car behind me, so I'm hoofing it. Man, I'm gonna lose all kinds of weight this year between walking around Picking up scrap, walking all these miles. Had to split the difference in this pile. Actually, I'm not gonna split the difference. <laughs> that pile's too far up there. <laughs> I'm driving. That's how much weight I'm gonna lose. <laughs> uh, okay, I thought I split the difference, but I did have a car behind me. But I'm driving. That's too far to walk all the way up there and walk all the way back. So we're gonna slide up. That was fast speed. <clears throat> Hopefully I didn't make you guys sick when I did the fast speed yesterday. Just wanted to try it. See if it made it any more fun or not. <clears throat> All kind of little, little pieces of metal. I gotta try to keep them all on one side. I'm really hoping to find myself another fridge or a washer and dryer or a stove, or something yummy today. But we'll take what the streets give us. We've got our first appliance of the day. I know, I said I was gonna cut cords as I went. I'm a liar. <laughs> I know, I gotta get my coopers and I gotta find them. I took them inside last night and my uh, toolbox is not as organized as it should be. Just tearing down some stuff. Let's get them. We're gonna check this one real quick. Not look super promising, but you never know. Got a little snippet of metal. A little something something. Kinda hoping there'd be a washer or dryer in there, but there's not, just a pole. Every pole counts. Uh-oh, I see the garbage man. I hope that is the leaf guy and not the bigs guy. Because if he's all the way up this far, I am in serious trouble today. Come on, tell me you're getting leaves. Tell me you're getting leaves. Yes, they're getting leaves. Whoo! Still safe. Looks like we're gonna get a twofer. Got ourselves a TV. That one actually says the mouth on it. They've been working on the curbs in this neighborhood. 
which has been a total pain in the keister to go through, especially when all the guys are here because they have everything all blocked up. Put that in there and slide up. Looks like we got a smoker or a grill or something. I don't know. Hopefully she's nice and heavy. She's rusty. I can tell you that. We will gladly have her. Someone told me I shouldn't be jumping in between the gates. I was going to break my shins, which is probably not too far from the truth. But I'll probably continue to do it until I bust my butt a couple of times. I'm a slow learner like that. Who needs a lift gate when you've got sides, right? Oosh. Yeah, there's a smoker. I can smell it. Done caught my glove. Oosh. Alright. Let's go. Empty or full? Empty or full? Can we get in my grave? Yes, we can. Score. pickup but I'm doing it I love these recycling bins actually this one looks broken oh, he's broken they normally hold up so much better than the other stuff you got I try to pick them up when I see them because I use them as my sorting barrels they're so much more sturdy than the stuff you get at the store Trying to gather as many as I can. Looking a little kitty. Oh, that's funny. Web shooting practice. They must have had a Spider-Man birthday party. That's fun. They had like silly string, I bet. That's pretty cool. What good parents we have here. And they clearly had a lot of beverages too. There's hands there that I'm not taking. No metal just a spider web practicing mount and I've already got one of those got another vacuum of the corded variety I need to find myself a vacuum guy a guy that fix vacuums because those don't weigh very much onward you got this bed set up like a turret you got the thing propped up they have three guns shooting down the street. <laughs> I know, it's the kid in me. Look, it's a bird convention. Let's see if we can get him to squawk for you. It's a bird convention. Can I join? What are you guys meeting about? Anyone's going to yell? Really? Look at all you birds over here. They must feed you over here, huh? They must feed you over here. <laughs> I can't believe they didn't squawk. Definitely somebody feeding them. For those of you that are wondering, those are St. Hell Cranes. They're endangered because I, from my understanding, they're pretty tasty. So now they're protected. <laughs> Not very smart either. All right, onward. And the post-Christmas continues. All right, where are we at? January 11th. Whoever guessed January 11th is still right. I got two weeks before my guess is any good. I've got people that are all the way to April. April. That's commitment right there. More post-Christmas. <laughs> Uh, wow, 
my tree when we went today. Tree two. Shink. Shink. We might uh, smorganize back there soon. Moving into the next neighborhood. But we're gonna run this one first. like we might have a piece of car is it plastic or metal this piece of that car it's plastic Oy. I thought for sure that looked metally let's see are you pretty plastic here you metally uh, the whole base oh the whole place is that's metal he's nice and heavy too too heavy to be plastic Gosh. Gonna have ourselves a chair today. Now all we need is a conference table. <laughs> Tree three? What you think guys? Oh, it's looking kinda empty to me. Oh, oh there it is! <laughs> Dang it. Two trees. Just a little one, but no scrap left behind. Oh yeah. Get in my trailer. Yet another morsel we would almost never touch. Cause this would be not good for the back of my truck, but it's amazing for the back of my trailer. Ash? Yeah. There's ash in my trailer now. Not in my truck though. Good, he's here. There we go, some really. Got some chairs, we'll check the chairs for Wendy. These are little guys. One's marginal, one's in horrible shape. She wrote. Onward. Alright, this is car stuff, I think. The car seat. Is it got metal though? That is the big question. Are there car parts in here? Are these just car part boxes? Just the boxes. Dang it. Come on. I was hoping there'd be some metal here, but that's just all. Boom. But we got a stereo over here. We'll take this, I guess. It's a consolation prize. Oh! We got a stereo. And a couple of stereos. Whatever that is. This is going to go in the back. I don't know what these guys are. I got to take a closer gander at these guys. 
So you'll go, you'll go there. I'm not sure what this is either, but I think that the brass, the box say it is, doesn't. Yummies in here. Yummies in here. No flooring. No yummies. Ooh, there's wire on the back of these speakers. Ugh. I'll have to get those later. I don't have my clippers. They're slightly on the woody side, but I know there's some big magnets and some stuff inside, so we'll see if the argument says they don't like those ones or not. Only one way to find out. Bring them and ask. Look, I didn't break my shins again. <laughs> looky, looky, Americanos. We have our first fan of the day. <laughs> and here, we are fans of fans. So make sure to smash that thumbs up. Because that's your sign. Fan of a fan of a fan. Let's see if there's any other morsels over here. A little bit, a little bit. Ooh, some wires too. Maybe it's for a gaming system. I do, I do. I think it's for a Wii. So that's the motion strip, right? Yeah. I want to check this box too. Take a quick gander over here. See, it's just a blanket. Or they've got some yummies in here. <laughs> Look at that. They tried to hide from me. You can't hide from me. Fan too. Oh, it's nice. They took the blades off. All right. They tried to hide that fan from me. How little do they know that I'm a fan of a fan. Fan too. Smash that thumbs up. <laughs> That's too funny. Was not expecting that. All right, onward. Went past this one by a bit because the car blocked it from me. But we're not gonna let you go. Make sure you're not disgusting. You're not too bad. Oh yeah. Ooh. Please do not cross. Why don't they put that one out there? I'll take a full size one. Maybe next week. Right. The police tape on a refrigerator seems a little suspicious. <laughs> That's vicariously up there. It's almost time to readjust. How cool is that? An old Coke machine. <laughs> I might, I don't know, do you keep stuff like that? Put them out front here. I don't know. Leave me a comment. It's probably going to end up in the scrapyard. I don't know what to do with it. Might have to ask around. We're going to put them up here for now, though. This is going to go in the back because this is going home to get taken apart. Can't go to the yard. Too cool. That's old school, man. My buddy had one of these. He actually got it to work and he would serve beers out of it. Huh. Those are all the old tops. You actually cook tops? Nope. Beer tops. I wonder if that's what they would do with it. 
I wonder if they had it working and were serving beers out of it. That's what he did. Man, this is old school. Oh, you're heavy too. Ole mi amore. Thinking this. <laughs> We're not gonna toss it over the side. We're gonna load it in the pack. I was joking with my brother in law yesterday about how I strung like bold, just throwing things over the side. And he's like, yeah, with a bum shoulder and. <laughs> He's like, you really probably need to listen to your people and get yourself a dolly. Wish I had that dolly today. But I never said I was a quick learner. Whew. All right. Let's do this thing. You know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pull up next to it. <laughs> there ain't nobody on this street. There's no sense killing myself if I don't have to, right? Whew, cause that thing's heavy. Wow, what a find. I'd love to know. I mean, I know I, I don't have the expertise to fix it but I'd love to know if people collect those I would think they probably do and those are cool an old school coke machine all right that should do her I think make my life a whole lot easier I just halved my travel distance and people can still get by if they absolutely have to, but like I said, the street is pretty quiet today. I think we're in good shape. Wow. How did they get this thing out to the curb? You should probably get a dolly. I know. I know, guys. I'll learn one of these days how to do this scrapping thing. Holy Moses, this is a heavy. Oh. All right, you're just sliding all over the place on me. Whew. Let's do this. Okay, what kind of length do we have here? Ouch, that was my foot. You really don't want to lean up for me, dude. Ooh, that smells so good. Oh, 
about if you packed better to begin with you wouldn't have to do this i know <laughs> told you not the fastest learner i always find these things like the last stop of the day man Ooh, someone done left me some money Ooh, you're going to back we don't want to scrap you one cent richer sweet making money already wow so that baby heavy okay you stay there stop throwing ash all over the place slide up there. Ooh, I done broke it. All right, Mr. Coke. We're gonna go down now. I'm gonna try not to scratch you in case you're not scrapped. Ooh. There we go. No, oh, I gotta go a little further than that. Need about another inch. That's what she said. <laughs> We got enough, you think? Let's see. Hiya! Oh God! Yes. Oh, that one's not gonna go in. Whatever that is, that's not going any place either. Onward. Woo! All right, it's almost time to run to the yard. We're running out of time. We'll take a George Foreman. I'm really in a dilemma about that Coke machine, man. I did a quick look up, and it looks like it's probably worth at least a couple hundred bucks to the right person, but I just don't have any place to store it. So I'm gonna go to the scrapyard and get their gander. I know that he had a, an old school, I think, Mountain Dew one set aside. Ask him. He'll give me a couple extra bucks for it. So I don't have to deal with it. But I hate to scrap it, scrap it, but that might be where it's going. Onward! All right, yeah, I've been here before. So I'm hoping there's still some good stuff here. I saw this. And that's not what I'm looking for. That's not what I was looking for. And that's garbage. You are garbage. All right, we're leaving those blinds today because I don't feel like dealing with them. I still got six of them at the house that I still haven't cleaned up. Alrighty, guys, we are weighed and paid. Not quite as good as we've been doing, but I couldn't toss that Coke machine. It's just, to me, too cool. Um, I called the one guy that uh, said he'd do washers and dryers for me and said, hey, I've got this cool machine. Uh, would you like it? He's like, send me some pictures. So I sent him some pictures and then he called me back. He's like, that is cool. He's like, but I wouldn't know what to do with it. So I won't take it. But if I had a suggestion, I would keep it and try to sell it. I think you can get some nice money out of it. And I would agree with him. I think that uh, from the comps that I've seen, it's worth anywhere from a hundred bucks to 400 bucks. But those were, uh, some of those were in working condition. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, I don't know if it works, whether it doesn't work, I'm assuming it probably doesn't work, that's why it was curbside. Um, but I'm gonna take the pictures that I sent him, I'm gonna post them up on Facebook Marketplace, see if anybody's interested, um, and I'm gonna get to the end of the week. If someone's interested, it's theirs. Um, if I can get 50, 100, 200, 1 million dollars, I'll take it. But uh, if not, it's going to shred because uh, it's worth probably 20, 25 bucks as is. Um, doing nothing to it, but hucking it in the pile because it was heavy. So today we had uh, just 560 pounds of shred. That's probably minus 300 on that machine. So we probably would have, would have still been shy of a thousand. So not a crazy day for 10. We didn't have that much stuff. Um, we had some decent stops. Um, but they were just onesies, twosies, nothing super big besides the cook machine that we kept. Um, and nothing crazy, no, nothing really to pick. I, I miss my picking piles, man. That uh, uh, paddleboard I'm meeting someone to sell today, those are the kind of picking piles I, I love. Uh, I still need to go through those CDs from yesterday. 
Uh, but anyway, uh, 560 pounds for 39.20. We had some heavy iron, 108 pounds for 19.26. And we had some light iron, just four pounds for 120 for a total of 59.66. So like I said, that's, we'll call it 60 bucks just to uh, round things off. Plus the cook machine, we'll say it was 25 bucks. So $85 a day, not quite the hundred we were hoping for, but today is light. Actually, I did a little bit better than I was expecting because the, that neighborhood, uh, the garbage men tend to beat me to it. And even when I was doing it early, um, I think they might have changed because I think I beat the garbage guys out to all the spots. And I don't know that uh, other pickers were out there. I know a picker did beat me to my back neighborhoods so that I hit up my NRI route because I saw him and he had a washing machine. Dang it. Um, and he had some two huge tires. I don't know where he got the tires from, man, but they were a monster. They were like, almost like, not quite monster truck tires, but they were big tires. And I'm assuming if he picked them up, they had aluminum rims, which would have been an amazing score, but uh, not sure. Maybe he picked them up for steel and he'll take the tires off of them and huck them in. They were that big, they're probably worthwhile, even if they were steel. But uh, any who's, I had fun today. Hope you did. If you did, make sure to give us a thumbs up. We had two opportunities today, didn't we? Two, maybe three. We had fans. Oh, yeah, we've got two fans in the back that we had to break down. We kept those, too. So there is some stuff that I'm going to break down that uh, weight is weight that we did not turn in. But we'll turn it in tomorrow, except for the cook machine. And he's got till Friday to find himself a new home, or he's finding himself a home at the yard. So remember, it's not show stuff, but you can still turn someone else's trash into cash. You just need to put a little bit of effort into doing it. So make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you all tomorrow. And until then, be safe and be happy. Talk to you then.